Okay, so here's the 2011 Hyundai Sonata. This is a rental car, and I'm reviewing it for everyone to see. I don't know exactly what trim it is. Um, there's no badge here on the back saying what it is, um, but I would assume it's one of the lower models. It does have the uh, 2.0 four-banger GDI in it, which stands for Gas Direct Injected. I believe it, it's a 2.0 liter. Um, according to Edmonds, which is kind of hard for me to believe, but at the same time it's, you know, kind of different. Um, it's rated for 190 horsepower. Um, it does have a little bit of pep to it. It's mated to the six-speed Manumatic, which is basically, you know, you can select the, the gears you want to go into with the uh, automatic transmission. Um, it's kind of a little bit of fun to drive around, but as you can see, it's kind of a big car. Um, it's really nothing too much to sneeze at. It's definitely not a race car. The uh, trunk space is pretty ample for what it is. And I have been in a Ford Fusion before, and this car seems to be a little bit bigger. Um, from what Edmonds was saying was this is the largest mid-sized car, you know, in its category hands kind of shaking here. It has an 18 and a half gallon tank. It gets 22 city, 35 highway. Of course, the way I've been, I've been driving it, it's probably getting about 20, maybe 19 city. But as you can see, it's a pretty clean car, um, at least as far as the sharpness and everything goes. The uh, back seat is pretty big for what it is. And the rental car place, I guess, forgot to leave the floor mats in here, but, you know, you get, I don't know if these seats fold down, but, of course, you get the standard cup holder armrest deal. And I believe the seats do fold down. Uh, yeah, they do. They fold down, so you're able to get some more storage space out of it. What this model has inside is just standard cloth seats. <coughs> get in here. Um, power mirrors, power windows, um, full-on uh, cluster here. The glove compartment is pretty decent sized. It's got cup holders in the door and it's got a split um, storage unit here on the side. So you can store, you know, maps and maybe change in here. Uh, you got two cup holders here. This car is kind of a mess. Um, <laughs> I am an airplane mechanic and I travel around a lot, so that's kind of how it is. But as I was saying before, it's got the manumatic select shift in it. Get my GPS out of the way. Um, there's my change. And the mess in here was that. And the bit up here that's on the steering wheel is not from me. I just forgot to clean it out or something. Um, but it's got two auxiliary jacks um, for power. And it's got an audio auxiliary and USB for the stereo. Um, I'd say the build, build quality of this car is all right. Uh, Hyundai has definitely made a step, a large step from where they came in uh, when the company first started. And I'll let you guys hear how quiet this engine is. Of course, I've got to let the RPMs drop a little bit more if they will. But you can barely hear the engine from inside. Um, and when you roll the windows up, you can hardly hear it at all. They did a really good job muffling the noise that this engine makes. I mean, it is a four-cylinder. Um, it's got right here, right there in the middle, it's got your uh, instant MP miles per gallon gauge. Uh, it's got 21,000 miles on it again because it's a rental car. So let's see if I can make it change over. Um, apparently my average speed is 34 miles an hour, which I don't believe that for a second. Let's go over to the next one. Um, elapsed time, I have no idea what this is for. I guess that's how many hours that it's been driven so far. Um, eco driving, apparently, I don't know if that's on or off, and I don't know how to turn it on or off. Um, I've tried to figure it out, and, you know, it's not really that important to me to figure it out. 
Um, it's got two trip meters in it, and then it's got a distance to empty gauge for your fuel. And apparently I'm getting 20.4 average miles per gallon, which isn't bad for this big a car. And that's where that is. It does have Bluetooth built into it, so you can link up with your phone, like the uh, Ford Microsoft Sync. Um, cruise control. And then it's got your uh, stereo uh, keypad and access controls right, right on the steering wheel for the stereo. Uh, AC, of course. You have your outside degree, uh, degree thermometer right here. Um, Pretty much that's all there is to it. it. It comes with XM. Don't want to keep this on for too long, but the uh, sound quality of the stereo is not too bad. Um, I drive a Focus, so the stereo actually sounds a little bit better and a little bit louder on the Focus in this car, but still, it's not really that bad. Um, you know, it's, it's really just a standard stereo that, you know, car companies are putting in nowadays. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a test drive. Throw that down there. And I'll put it in the manumatic shift mode in a minute here once I get out onto the road. But as you can hear, you can't really hear the engine at all. Um, I'd say, to be really honest, I am kind of impressed with this car, but at the same time, I don't think I would have bought it. Uh, it is a nice car for what it is, but it's just really, it's not really my taste. Um, personally, I like, uh, I like the Ford Fusion a little bit better. Um, I like the Chevy Malibu a little bit better. I think that's the same, uh, in the same class. And let me get out here up to the stop sign. Actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and make a right here. And then the manumatic shift selector is really easy. You just flip it over here to the right, and I'll just put it here. I'm in first gear, second gear. Sorry, mark the horn there. And it gets up to speed pretty decently. I'm in third gear, doing about eh, 42 miles an hour. Now I drop down to 40. I can't really go too fast through here because this is a military base and there is a lot of the uh, MPs out. So that's really all there is to this car. Um, it's really nothing too much to sneeze at, but it definitely gets the job done for what it is. Um, I would say it's a great little car. Um, however, I would not buy it uh, just because it's not my taste, but hopefully this review helps you out with your purchasing decision. But uh, until next time, there's going to be more car reviews coming in the near future.